Where are we now? I don't have a map of this place. Hmm. Where are we? Run along over here for some supplies. You get a first aid kit and ammo. Very nice. Rifle shells and handgun bullets. You can never go wrong. Unless you're already maxed out on ammo, then, you know, don't pick up ammo. Resort area. Hmm. Anyway, right now, we want to make it to the inn. Just run along this way. And about here on your map. You want to make it into this building. Are you okay? Yeah, I guess so. But I'm beat. I thought I was a goner there. So how'd it go? Did you find a way out? No, not yet. How about you? Zip. But it's too soon to give up. This craziness can't go on forever. A military rescue squad should be here any time now. If they come through the town, we're home free. I hope so. I better get going. This isn't the time to stand around flapping our gums. Do you know a girl called Alessa? No. Anyway, run along over here. A little orange uh, pad on the ground. Kaufman must have dropped this. Looks like it's full of his stuff. I've got a Kaufman key. I've got a receipt. Receipt from general store thought to have been dropped by Kaufman. 0473. What'd he buy? Uh, paper... I can't really make out that word above it. Kaufman key. A three is written on the tag. The key was thought to have been dropped by Kaufman. All right. Huh, we haven't seen this before. This uh, creature on the ground. This is new. Interesting. Run along over here for health drinks. And feel free to save if you want. Anyway, hug the side of this building and then make a straight dash. We want to make it over to the Indian runner. There are tons of groaners and rompers around, so... Be fast. Be, be as fast as your feet can carry you. Right here, on your map, you should make it to the Indian Runner. So, uh... Huh. This always interested me because, like, there is no other lock or puzzle in the game like this. So, yeah. Oh... Four, seven, three. Rifle oh. shells. There was a drawer. Do you want to open it? Oh. Yes. There's a safe key. Take it? Oh. Yes. Health drink. There we go. 
It, it, it appears to be a diary. August 20th. He came by. I handed over the package that woman had left here. September 12th. I read that wrong, actually. He showed up at Norman's, too. Don't want to be involved with the likes of them anymore, but I'm getting creeped out even more than it before. Thought of leaving town, but I'm afraid of what will happen if I do. Hmm. Three loaves of bread, two cartons of milk, two dozen eggs. Deliver to back door daily, 8 a.m. Rear entrance code 0886 Norman Young. Norman's grand opening. It's locked. Key found to the safe found at Indian Runner General Store. Use the safe key. What's this? Drugs? Hmm. Kind of doesn't really appear to be anything here. I wonder. Anyway, now you just want to. Oh. <clears throat> R1L1 square X. Analog stick. Best way to mash. Anyway, now you just want to make your way over to uh, the inn. Like I said earlier. I said it way too early, actually. I was like, you gotta make way to the inn. When actually I was talking about the bar. 0886. Because as you remember, that was uh, on the paper from earlier. Anyway, right here on your map. A poster's on the wall. Don't look at that now, though. There is indeed a poster on that wall. There's a magnet. Take it? Yes. Long, thin magnet rod with the string attached in the motel office. Newspaper. It's the same date as the one in the hospital. Investigation stalled. PTV dealer still at large. Suspicious deaths continue, like the anti-drug mayor or narcotics operator dies of a sudden heart failure of unknown origin. Interesting. There's a radio on top of the cabinet. It's completely dead. Maybe it's broken. September 10th. Took package. Told to sit on it a while. Don't want to get involved, but can't disobey. He's probably linked to the death of the mayor and the others. Interesting. I wonder if uh, this was written by the same person who wrote the other diary that we read earlier. There's a TV set. The primacy out. It doesn't work. Are you serious? There's another one that doesn't work? Huh. Yeah, save if you feel like it. Cold drinks. There's a vending machine. It doesn't work. Ah. Well. We have key number three, so let's go. Run in here for a first aid kit. I mean, a health drink. Nobody inside. Brave man, Harry. I wouldn't have even bothered checking. And uh, this. There's a crack. Something glints inside. The crack is too small to reach in. Well, conveniently enough for us, we have a long, thick magnetic rod with a string attached in the motel office. I've got a motorcycle key. Motorcycle, motorcycle. Hmm. Anyway, run back to uh, the previous building. I mean, it's the same building, just a different room. We haven't been in here yet, so let's check it out. Health drink? 
shotgun shells. Batteries, oil cans, and other items line the shelves. A fine layer of dust covers everything, as if long forgotten. As if long abandoned, I mean. An old motorcycle. Looks like it's been sitting here for years. That's weird. The dust is wiped away just around the gas tank cap. Motorcycle key. Key to an old motorcycle which was dropped between the floorboards in the motel room. A small glass veil wrapped in a plastic bag. What's this? It's like the busted veil I found in the director's office at the hospital. Give me that! What is this? That's none of your business. Instead of messing with that, how about coming up with a way to get out of here? Hmm. You shouldn't be hanging around here goofing off. What do you think you're doing? You want to get yourself killed? Get out of here. Okay, take it easy. Unless you want to die, keep your mind on business. Got it? Little fun fact, in earlier builds of this game, Harry will actually talk during those lines of dialogue that you have to read. Anyway, the game isn't trying to trick us or anything, that really is all there is to do here, so just leave. <laughs> 